Hi everyone, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. We'll either have a success or we'll have a complete failure, we shall soon see. I'm going to use a rapid technique with this plant pot. It's an indoor plant pot. Um, so yeah, it's a nice white one and it's going to be done with alcohol inks. So I've got a um, Baja Blue, a Sun Bright Yellow, and a teal and these are all from the pinata um, range and then because i'm really low on yellow i've just got this um, let's resin yellow which i'm going to use because i've run out of the pinata i've only got a little bit so i will use that um, and then the other item that we've got is cling film cellophane whatever you want to call it so we've laid that out uh, we'll put our pot down and we will shake our bottles and then we will try and open our bottles. I'm just gonna get the, uh, the lids just unscrewed. Okay, so we'll start with the blue and we will just go wherever we want. It does feel like you're, you're using quite a lot. And then we'll do the teal. Go with the yellow. You can see I've run out now, hence why this little baby's come in. I'm going to do some more blue. run out of teal as well okay so then we're going to get our pot and we're going to put it in the center like that and then we're going to take one corner and we're going to push it up push it over take another corner push it up push it over another corner push it up push it over and another corner push it up push it over and then just try and pack all this uh, cling film in all around. So my video turned off and dropped and everything, but what I've done is I have covered it in the cling film, I've patted it around and I've turned it upside down so that the alcohol ink just dribbles down to the bottom pushed some out from the base. Now, as you can see, most of it's turning green because I've, um, the yellow obviously yeah. with the teal and the blue has made it a very green piece. So next time I might not use teal and blue, I might use a different color with the blue and the yellow, and then I wouldn't get as much green. Um, so apologies that the camera fell and that you didn't get to see exactly what I did, but I basically wrapped it up with the cling film and then I just patted it, patted it, patted it, patted it until every section was completely covered with the cling film. And then I turned it upside down. And we're just gonna leave that now for about 24 hours. 
if it dries any sooner brilliant but I'm not going to rush it so about 24 hours and then we'll come back and see what it looks like um wear gloves it's very messy doing this shall we see what happens shall we take the cling film off All I'll do is I'll turn it the right way. Now you could tape the inside up, but because this is going to have things planted in it, I'm not overly bothered. But I might be able to wipe it off anyway. It's still a little bit wet, but that's okay. my gloves on I don't want to put my messy gloves on it though so okay, let me just throw this away I'm just grabbing some tissue to wipe my hands so that the hands aren't too messy when I turn this up the right way isn't it? It looks like bubbles and stems of like grass well that bit's a bit bit dynamic doesn't quite fit in with the rest of it but and I've obviously scuffed a bit there but, but you get the idea that's all just done with alcohol ink and with a bit of practice, that rapid technique where the cling film causes all these creases and all these little designs, and especially these bubbles that it's created. And that would be really great if you could get that everywhere. But I mean, look at this bit here, isn't that lovely? That's just the cling film that's made that effect. So I say, go and have some fun. Go and get yourself a white pot, a white pot of some sort, and get some alcohol inks, get some cling film, and just wrap it up. And see what patterns you can make. Maybe go for some different colors. Don't just go for the greens and the blues and the yellows like I did. I enjoyed that. I think I will do. I think I will try more like that. It's got a lovely little detail as you as you look at it. It looks. Yeah, there's sections that aren't aren't great, but oh, <laughs> that, that bit there looks like tulips or or um, daffodils or something. I don't know, some, like flowers on stems. The more I look at it, the more I really like it. Anyway, there we go. Enjoy. Should add that I will be adding um, a varnish to it, and but I won't be doing that for a few days until it's completely dried. Because if you add the varnish to it when it's still a little bit wet or tacky, then it will never ever ever set. So I'm just going to leave that for a couple of days and then add a few layers of, of varnish to seal it in.